let's look at these two box uh, boxes of reaction time for group C and D. Now, what is reaction time? Basically, what you do is you drop a ruler. This is a person dropping the ruler, and this is a person who catches the ruler. So this person counts, say one, two, three, and drops the ruler. And you had this person has to catch the ruler. So the time it takes for this person to catch the ruler is called reaction time. You can also measure reaction time in centimeters, but uh, this is in uh, in seconds. So here, this is say group C. So this is for group C, and this is group D. When you're looking at the, when you're comparing data, so this you've got a sample of 30 from group C and group D. So just if you look at the boxes, here you can see the median of group D is 6.65. And the upper quartile of group C is also uh, is 0 0.6 for the almost same. So this is, I hope you know, is 50%. This is 50%. To the right of median is 50%. And to the left of median, to the left of median you have 75% of the data. So if you just look at the upper quartile of group C and the median of group D, you can see uh, 50% of group D have got a greater reaction time. The greater reaction time is uh, the lesser reaction time is better. Okay, so here you can say the reaction time, 50% of more than 50% or about 50% of group D, uh, group D's reaction time is greater than 75% of group C. So this seems that group C has a better reaction time because lesser the reaction time, better uh, the, the, we can say, alertness of the person. But now we have to also look at uh, the uh, median shift. So median shift is the difference between the median. So the median shift is 0.65 minus 0 0.48. So I'll do this later on. And we also want to find the overall visible spread. OVS stands for the overall visible spread. That is the difference between uh, the lower quartile, the difference between these two. This is the lower quartile of the lower group and upper quartile. This is the total overall visible spread, the difference between these two. That is, this is how much, 0 0.87, 0 0.87, take away 0 0.05. So let's find how much is this as a percent of this. So median shift divided by overall visible spread. So let's do that on a calculator. So menu run. So let me put this in the bracket. Uh, 0.65 minus 0.48 divided by 0.87 take away 0.05. This, so let me write 0 0.2073. This as a percent, so as a decimal is 0 0.2, what was the number? 2073. And this as a decimal is about 21%. This is only 21%. So what we are saying is, for this median, to overlap with this median, it has to move only 21% of the overall visible spread. Okay, so here you can say, uh, let me write this, let me type it. So what does this number, what is this, the meaning of this number means? This means that uh, for the median, of group C to match uh, for match up with that of group D 
empty the box of C has to move only 21, we can say about only about 21% of the OVS, overall visible spread. And that is not big enough to make the call that one is better than the other. So what are we saying? That this, the median shift is only 21% of the overall visible spread. That means for this box C, if it has to, the median of this, if it has to match with the median of D, this has to move only 21% of the overall visible spread. Okay, so this implies we cannot make the call, we cannot make the call, make the call, let me type this because my pen is not working. So why can't we make the call? So the reason why we can't make the call is, let me make this font a bit bigger. So the reason is, for a sample, for a sample size of 30, to make the call that uh, group C has a better reaction time than that of group D, the ratio of median shift over divided by overall visible spread should have been greater than 33 and 1 over 3 percent. So we cannot make the call that group C has a better reaction time than group D. 